Hi, Claude Whitaker here. I'm a, a sales trainer. I talk to groups of salespeople, groups of sales managers. I also talk to groups of business owners. Uh, one of the things that they ask me quite often is, you know, what, what is it that, you know, tell me some like real, out of 40 years of selling, what is, tell me one of the big things that you've learned. Well, let me tell you. One of the big things that I've learned in 40 years of selling and in 40 years of marketing and in, in, many, in 12 years of owning my own retail store, which I'm standing in right now, uh, one of the things I've learned is that most great ideas that you learn to promote your business and to make your business better and to make people buy from you more, uh, most of those ideas you get outside your core business. For example, in my retail store there are about 71 things that I do daily that generate business. Some of these things are small, very, very small things that maybe I say to a customer, it's a phrase I use or some little sampling thing that I do or something like that. Some of these things are major. Some of these things account for quite a lot of our business. See, well, there's 71 things all together. Of all those 71 things in my business, in my core business of selling vacuum cleaners, do you know how many of those things I actually got from the vacuum cleaner industry that somebody taught me that was in this industry? One. One thing out of 71 that I learned in this industry. Everything else I got of, out of other industries. You know, the, uh, the network marketing industry, for example. I got a couple of ideas from there. The healthcare industry, the insurance industry. I got ideas from all these different industries. Here's a secret. It doesn't make any difference what industry or what uh, product you sell or what offer you have or how you do business. Every other industry has at least one thing that they do that you can adapt from their industry to your industry. In fact, sometimes that one thing that they do uh, is what drives their entire industry. It can be, uh, it can be a method of distribution. It could be a uh, manufacturing method. It could be a specific feature that people really, really like. A, gar a guarantee that they offer that nobody else offers. It can be a positioning statement, uh, a way of doing business. Uh, it could be you know, where they are on the quality scale. It can be all positioning. It can be all kinds of different things. But it's something that they do that that one thing will literally drive their entire business. And if they did not have that one thing, that business would not prosper. Well. It's not that big of a stretch to figure out what that thing is and transfer that thing to your business. All you have to do is maybe rework it a little bit or, or, or uh, uh, you need to just translate it a little bit or analyze it a little bit and figure out, take the core principle out of that idea, how can you apply that to your business because the principle is what works. It's not the specific idea, it's the principle of that idea. What about that idea makes that business attractive to buyers and customers of that thing? So now if you know that, you, now you can apply that to your business because once you know the appeals, you can apply that to your business. Well, what's that got to do with the Feldman method, Ben Feldman? Okay. Well, I think in 1978, I was selling life insurance. I was, I don't know, 20, however old I was, 1978, I don't know, 22, 23 years old. And um, I just walked into a bookstore and I was not doing very well in my business. I didn't know anything about how to sell. I had some training, but it wasn't very good training. I didn't know the difference between good sales training and bad sales training at the time. I just thought it was all sales training. I had no idea that there were levels of sales training. But I went into, an, into a bookstore and I happened to see this book. In fact, it was this actual book is what I saw. And I thought, oh, it says, uh, world's, words and philosophy of the world's greatest insurance salesman. Hmm. Maybe I'll buy that book. And at the time it was five or six dollars and thank goodness I had five or six dollars and I bought the book and I went home and I read it and again I didn't know the difference between good sales training and bad sales training but I, I believed this. I took it at face value just like all new people. New people take everything at face value because they don't know the difference between a good idea and a bad idea. But I took this idea and I started doing what Mr. Feldman did. I started uh, selling to business owners. I started uh, using phraseology and, and, and selling the same products that he did and, and the same uh, appeals that he did and the same prospecting methods that he did, the same approaches that he used. A lot of the same verbiage and dialogue that he uses, I started using myself in that industry. Okay? Well, why is this such a good book? Why is this so good? Here's a secret. If you want to know how to do your business better and make much more money in your business, you need to study from people that are far more successful than you. For example, if you're making uh, $30,000 right now in your business, and you know somebody that's making $300,000 right now in your business, that's the guy you want to learn from. Okay? 
If you're sales, if you're making hundred thousand dollars a year and your sales manager is making thirty thousand dollars a year, and you want to make three hundred thousand dollars a year, that sales manager is not the guy to learn from. He's probably a nice guy. He's probably got a nice family. But you know what? He doesn't know how to make three hundred thousand dollars. He's never experienced that before. He has no idea how that feels. He has no idea how to put forth that kind of effort and use those techniques, the methodology that it takes to generate that kind of income. He has no idea how that works. So you need to talk to people that are more successful. And it's more important that they're more successful than that they are in your business. That's what I learned. Because almost all the things are in the Feldman method, I can apply to all the other businesses that I run. Whether I'm selling uh, internet services or whether I'm selling a vacuum cleaner, almost all the ideas in here, the appeals that he uses and all that, almost all of these ideas I can apply in my business right now. Here's how legendary Mr. Feldman was. At the time, Mr. Feldman, Ben Feldman, was so great. At the time, there were maybe 1,500 insurance companies doing business in the United States at the time this book was written. Ben Feldman's production of life insurance sales was greater than two-thirds of those companies. He personally was selling more than the bottom two-thirds of the life insurance companies in the, United States, in the United States at that time. That's how good he was. He was a multi, multi-millionaire and people flocked to hear how he did it. Here's the amazing thing. If you're thinking, well, you know, I, I see why he's so successful. You know, he must be amazing and wonderful and everything. No, I saw a video. I never met him personally. I saw a video of this guy. He's short and stumpy and slump-shouldered and, and speaks with a lisp. And he's, you know, his posture's terrible and he shuffles when he walks. And, you know, his clothes don't fit. And, you know, but he's a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. And here's why. If you're wondering, I can tell you why. He knew everything that he needed to know to show you that it was brain dead obvious that you should own what he sells. He knew it all. He spent hours every day practicing and rehearsing his presentation. He would take answers to somebody who giving him an objection. He would spend hours figuring out what's the best answer to that objection. How, what can I say that will overcome that objection? What, would, what can I say that would make me now want to buy a life insurance from me? Okay. All the answers are right here. He, all the approaches, all the verbiage he uses. He's got his own little Feldmanisms, which he likes to call little things that are power statements about, you know, life insurance and buying life insurance. But you know what? Most of what's in here, you can apply to whatever you sell. My suggestion is that you go to Amazon.com. You have to buy used copies. This hasn't been out for a while. Buy this book. Don't buy the updated version because that book is written by somebody else. They took this book and then adapted it to modern times. You don't want to do that. Get the one that looks like this, not the one that was written just a couple years ago. Get this one because this is the thing, this is what was originally written by Ben Feldman and about Ben Feldman. This is the book you want to get because this has got all the good stuff in it, all the good oil. All right? So get The Feldman Method by Andrew H. Thompson. Uh, get it on Amazon. I, I hardly recommend it. It's one of the top two or three books I've ever read on selling of anything. And uh, my name is Claude Whitaker, and thank you.